say, Lacey Range viewers, <clears throat> there is a CMP game match at uh, Memphis this weekend, and uh, I still got Andy's uh, MC58 here. And uh, now I've been out here, I've been practicing my <clears throat> standing offhand, and uh, all I can say is I've been tagging. Now, the, the, y'all are watching this, it'll probably go to crap. So let, let's see what happens here. I'm trying to engage the bigger target on the uh, uh, round target on the left. Okay. Oh. All right, that's a miss. Think about shooting my... Uh, Navy uh, M1 Grand this weekend. Since the MC58 uh, tries to replicate the M1, M1, uh, uh, M14, thought it'd be a good one to work with. And the trigger is, uh, like the video that I published, uh, I'll, I'll post a link on it, but uh, the trigger is tough on this. And especially when you're shooting from the standing position. There we go. Okay, and uh, I am shooting without a jacket today. Um, at Memphis, I will have my shooting jacket on which you know stiffens you up quite a bit <clears throat> if, I, if I can do this without the jacket uh, I'm doing pretty good if I can keep it up now, the match that we're shooting CMP games or the John C. Graham matches uh, will be 10 rounds from the prone position slow fire then uh, 10 rounds uh, rapid fire. And then you gotta do a reload. And uh, then we'll do uh, 10 rounds standing. So 30 round match, you get five siders. And I, uh, I know we do prone first. I can't remember if we do standing. I, it's been a year since I shot it. Uh, Paducah has not been holding matches this year. So. I have got out of the practice. Here it is, uh, end of April, and it should be running pretty tight, but I'm not. Ah, I thought about it there. Now, the, the key, and there are people out here that are a whole lot better than I am, but the key is being relaxed. You've got a natural point of aim, and, uh, if you can find that natural point of aim and you can let your body relax, that's where it'll go. If you try to tighten up and try to force it, as soon as your, your brain activates your trigger finger, it will go to that natural point of aim. So it's always best to find that before you shoot. You may have to refine it during the match, but... Uh, if you don't find that natural point of aim, boy, it's tough. And if you can't stay relaxed. There we go. And now, uh, don't think that you're not going to wiggle. You got to accept the wobble. You always have to accept it. You're not going to sit up here standing and not move any. It's just not going to happen. But if you can reduce your wobble, that's what you're going for. Reduce it, and then the, the, the relaxing, doing all the proper shooting techniques, good trigger pull. Centered up the sights, breathing, 
and let her go. And you know when it boils down to it, it's, it's pretty easy. Put your target on, or put your sights on the target, and squeeze the trigger. That's all it is to it. This doesn't work out that easy. This is 50 yards. We'll be shooting 200 um, on Saturday. I'll try to get some video of shooting that. Like I said, I, I like going down there to Memphis. Uh, it, it's the north side of Memphis. Uh, nice range. Of course, Andy uh, Granberry, who shoots with us quite a bit, he, uh, he runs the match. They have the electronic scoring, so you know you don't have, you don't have to work the pits and all that stuff. So, pretty good deal. Ah, could have had that one. Probably went a little higher though. Uh, that natural point of aim, uh, you got to get that. And it, as you get better, you should sort of recognize where the trigger pull went off, and uh, should be able to call call your hits. I tell you, this rifle's about the weight of M1. <laughs> it definitely is, which this helps. Uh, uh, the heavier the rifle, the easier it is to uh, keep that wobble down. And you can get too heavy, but uh, lighter rifles tend to float on me. I, I like a little bit of weight. All right, one thing you gotta watch about your trigger, don't try to fan it. Do your normal trigger pull, pull all the way back, follow through. If you try to pop it or fan it or, or as it crosses, uh, that, that's, you're gonna do what I just did right there. Total miss, total miss. So squeeze. Ah, oh, that felt good. Fire three more and see what we can do. I'll say, come out here with some uh, CCI standard velocity. Uh, about the cheapest shooting you're gonna get, practice wise. I've got a stool, y'all can't see it, but I've got a stool sitting here. You're allowed to stool, and as long as the weapon is empty, then you can rest it on the stool. I don't, of course you can't use the slings, so no, no slings on this rifle.
been a nice day today. It's got up in the 70s. You know, I've got a sweatshirt on, uh, but uh, you know, if I was doing anything at all, I'd have to come out of it. Um, rain was supposed to come in here, but it was supposed to be raining last night. The old weatherman's, uh, we all need a job like they've got. All right, let's hit this last shot. Let's see if I can take it home. Take it home, buddy. Okay, weapon is empty. There's the good old MC-58 laying on the stool right there. And we got the uh, CCI standard velocity, just straight out of the box. Now let's go look at the targets. Okay, here we are at the uh, target. And uh, of course, this is one of the little cheap uh, tar 22 targets that come from Walmart. Nothing special about it. Uh, now, I normally, let me get a little closer. Just so you can see that there's my two fingers. I guess what that's three, uh, yeah, that's about three inches across there. And uh, the rifle, most of the time I was trying to squeeze off the shot just about right here now when i shoot uh saturday with with my m1 grant now I'll, this will be black and i'll probably try to float the front target and do what we call lollipop it and uh, of course i'll i'll have you know we're shooting at 200 yards so i'll have the elevation on the rifle set probably somewhere around three uh three plus 300 plus one click or 300 meters and that's to, to make up that difference, to get into the center, to the 10. Uh, that, that works for me. I prefer that. Uh, it's sort of hard. Black sight, black target. Uh, there's no definition there. So if I can hold it on the outside and just use my elevation to, to change my zero where it impacts at the right place, that's what I do. So, like I say, you can tell uh, some other round hit my little thing there but it's holding together staying there so well, i'm glad y'all got to watch this for more tips on how to lose a match just come right back to Lacey's range